Welcome to this quick tutorial how to do an HDR panoramic photo with your DJI drone. These were shot on a Mini 3 Pro, can be done on a Mini 2 and pretty much all of the, the bigger drones. As long as your drone has an AEB setting on it, that's auto exposure bracketing. All that basically means is your photo is going to take three or five images at different exposures each time you press the shutter button. So what we're going to do is Firstly, you need to get into that setting, so we're going to select Photo, we're going to select AEB, and then you'll get a choice of three or five frames. That's totally up to you. Mine, this one was shot with five frames. Get the drone in the air, and take a look at your exposure that you want to get. Start off by putting the drone in place, and we're going to start off panning. As you can see from here, I've started the left, pan and right. Once you're in position for your first shot, stop, take your first exposures, pan a bit more. Make sure you've got a bit of an overlap between each frame. Stop, another five exposures, pan again, and again. We're going to make sure we've got a bit of an overlap, and our final five exposures. So I've done three lots of exposures there as I've panned the, the drone around. This will give me all the exposures I need to then blend later in, in Photoshop. As I mentioned earlier, we really need to think when, when we're taking the, the images of overlap between each image just to make the life a little bit easier for Lightroom. As you can see there, th there's nearly half of the image in this is an overlap as we've gone from image one to image two. And again, as we go to image three, about half the images overlapped. Now let's get it all into Lightroom. Okay, so here we've got all the images as take from the drone. As I said, it was set with five exposure, auto exposure burst balance. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, five exposures on the drone. This is the original image that I've exposed for. As you can see, ISO 100. At 140 for a second. This did have an ND64 filter on it. It was a bright old day. And then from there, as you can see, as I go through the images, I've then got 160 of a second, 125th, 1 100th, and 115th for the other lighter and darker ones. All the rest of the images as we go through are at the same settings. So once we've got all these in the Lightroom, all we do, we go to the end or the beginning, shift and click, select them all. So we've now got 15 images selected. And we're going to right click on the photo merge, and close to HDR panorama merge, like that. Let Lightroom do its thing. And there's our preview. As you can see, we've got Auto settings applied, I've just left them on for this just to make things easier rather than then go into full edit mode of everything just to give you an idea of how it pulls it together. And then you've also got your slight warp in here, which we can use the boundary warp <coughs> to fix and get rid of. We could knock all auto settings off, as you can see, just would need a bit more tweaking, a little bit more work from manually. Then all we do is we'll click merge. Lightroom will merge them all together, save the panorama, then create an image stack of them all. And there's the final image. As you can see, quite a lot of detail. It is in the end a 6180 by 261 megabyte image. In the end, this one because it was a DNG. It's a big old image. Hope that was helpful. If there's anything, any other questions you have regarding drone photography or any other techniques or tips you want to know about, pop them in the comments below. I will do my best to either answer them in the comments or even pop a new video together for them. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.